guys, Taylor here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you've already been here, thanks for coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a foundation review for you guys. It's been a while since we've done a foundation review, so I'm super excited and I'm trying out a new brand. I'll be trying out the new House Labs foundation. This is my very first product from House Labs, so I'm super, super excited to do this review for you guys today. So if you are interested in seeing this foundation in action or just hearing my thoughts, then please keep on watching. Before we start the video please make sure you are subscribed to the channel please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time your girl uploads a video and follow me on instagram and with that being said let's jump right into the video all right you guys so eyes are already done for my eyes i used the pat mcgrath celestial divinity eyeshadow palette just to create this quick eye look for my brows i leave my brow routine up above and lashes i use my aliexpress lashes i'll also have those linked down below before i jump into talking about the foundation and applying it i am going to prime my skin i'm using the Milani Skin Quench Hydrating Primer. And I am using a hydrating primer just because one, my skin is dry and two, I recently started using retinol again. So my skin is extremely dry, like drier than usual. So I'm making sure that my skin is hydrated properly. And this is one of my favorite drugstore hydrating primers. So while my primer is sitting, I am going to tell you a little bit about the foundation. So this foundation retails for $45 and comes in 51 shades. It is supposed to be a medium coverage, weightless, clean foundation with fermented arnica that reduces redness, helps even skin tone, and protects from environmental stress. It is also supposed to be a natural finish foundation and it also comes with a pump. So I picked up the shade 470 medium deep cool and this is supposed to be medium deep with golden olive undertones. I think I did a pretty good job at choosing my shade. I purchased mine online but I went in stores after to swatch a couple shades. I really really like this shade. I feel like this foundation is going to be one that I can use multiple shades. So I'm going to test this shade out and hopefully this one works. If not I'll pick up another shade. But once again I picked up the shade 470 medium deep cool. As always I'm going to apply the foundation on one side of my face with a brush and on the other side with a sponge and then you guys are going to let me know if you prefer the sponge side or the brush side. So I'm going to go in with the brush on this side first and the brush that I am going to use is the Morphe E36 brush. I am just going to like pump out like two pumps of the foundation. So this is what two pumps look like. It is pretty liquidy, but it isn't as liquidy as say the Pat McGrath foundation. And I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks. And right off the bat, I do feel like this shade is a tad bit dark, but not too dark. I feel like this shade is going to be perfect for me like all year round. So I wouldn't need to pick up like a summer shade and a winter shade. So this is what the foundation looks like on this side of my face and this is what it looks like with no foundation. As I said before, this shade is a tad bit dark. I feel like I can go a shade down. I feel like the shade range is pretty good. So I'm going to go a shade down um, with this foundation just so it's not too dark. But if I want to use the shade, I feel like I can finesse it. It is giving me a medium coverage. If you saw the scar on my forehead, it is still peeking through right there, but not too much. So it is giving me about medium coverage. The finish of the foundation, however, I feel like it is a skin-like dewy, but not too dewy kind of foundation. It's not as hydrating as say the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, but it is giving dew to the skin and it's giving glow to the skin. As I said, the shade can work, but I feel like I can go a shade down. So let me know what you guys think, but I, I really like the shade. I, I really like how it looks. After I conceal, I know that it's going to balance everything out. But if I want like my perfect match, I can go a shade down. And I didn't use the full two pumps of the foundation. I used about one and a half pumps. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and apply it on this side with a sponge. To blend the foundation on this side of my face, I'm using my Juno sponge. Thank you. 
So this is what the foundation looks like on this side with the sponge and this is what it looks like on this side with the brush. I feel like I used a lot less product on the side with the sponge and I feel like it shared out the product a lot better. I feel like on the side with the sponge it looks a lot less dewy but still looks nice and skin like. I feel like on this side it looks very very dewy. So I personally like the side with the sponge more than I do the side with the brush but both sides look good it just depends on how much coverage you want and I feel like the side with the sponge I'm still seeing a few scars peeking through once again it's still giving more of a medium coverage the only thing that changed with the side with the sponge is that the finish of the foundation looks a little bit different but both sides look really really good but I am going to use a sponge and just pass over everything just to smooth everything out and even everything out. Okay you guys, so this is what it looks like after passing the sponge over my entire face. Everything looks a lot more skin-like. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not as dewy as before. The finish that the sponge gives just looks really, really nice. I was a bit iffy about the shade 470. I feel like 470 looks really, really good, but I also feel like I can go with the shade 460 to get a better match, but 470 looks really good on the skin. It looks beautiful, you guys. Going into winter though, when my summer tan wears off, it is going to be a little bit dark, but with concealer, I can balance it out. But as I said, 470 or 460 if we are for shade twins, I'd say either get the shade 470 or the shade 460. It's just a matter of preference because as you can see 470 looks beautiful on my skin. I am going to go in with a concealer. I am going to use the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. This is in the shade 35N. I have been really really enjoying this concealer and I am not going to go in with too much. While my concealer sits, I'm going to quickly contour my face. I'm using the LYS Cream Bronzer. This one is in the shade Strength. I am going to use this on my forehead. For my cheeks, I'm using the Huda Beauty Tantour in the shade Medium. The reason why I do this, I feel like this one is a little bit deeper, so it goes both as a bronzer and a contour. So I like using it on my forehead, and then the Huda Beauty has that redness to it, so I like using that on my cheek area. And I'm just taking a different Morphe E63 brush to contour. So I'm just going to quickly blend my concealer because I want to set my face with powder just so you guys see what the foundation looks like after setting and I want to do a wear test so I'm just going to quickly blend this out with a sponge. Lately I've been using a brush to blend my concealer but because I'm trying to do a wear test I'm just going to blend with a sponge really quickly. And this sponge is the Shop Miss A Pawpaw sponge. Okay you guys, so I'm trying to conceal that scar on my forehead so I added a little bit of concealer up there. I'm just going to leave it to dry down while I set everywhere else. I'm going to use the Sephora translucent powder to set while that is sitting. I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with my Dior Powder No Powder in the shade 6N and I'm using the BK Beauty 105 powder brush to do this. Okay you guys, so this is what the foundation is looking like after setting. I know my face is looking extremely dry, drier than usual, so I know that that isn't the foundation, but I will say that I feel like the foundation is clinging around my mouth right here. I feel like it's clinging to my dry patches and like right in here, so 
be mindful of that as i said my skin is extremely dry right now but i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm noticing that it is clinging to my patches just going to go in with a little bit of my garnier face mist just to add back a little bit of hydration to my skin Okay guys, so this is what the skin is looking like after going in with my Garnier spray. It looks a lot better. I want to do a wear test for you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera, then come back and then give you guys my final thoughts before I do the wear test so you guys can see what the face is looking like. So I'm going to finish my makeup and then I'll be right back. All right you guys, I'm back and this is the finished look. I completely forgot to do my lips with you guys on camera, but I used the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Strong. I also used the artist couture matte lipstick in the shade angel baby and i mixed two glosses so i used morphe gloss in the shade flower crown and then i used my elf gloss in the shade pink cosmo the two together is just gorgeous on the lips as i said before i want to give you guys a wear test it is now 122 but i have a few things to say about the foundation so for me personally i don't feel like the foundation is a matte foundation it is very hydrating very dewy on the skin but it does have some form of gripping properties in it. So because of that, I feel like it was clinging to my patches. It was gripping to my skin. So if you have dry patches, it is kind of going to cling to that. If you are going to use this foundation, I wouldn't recommend using a mattifying spray, especially if you have extremely dry skin or if you have dry patches for the foundation to cling to. So I did not use my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray today. I went for a more hydrating option and I find that that really, really helped with how the foundation looks on my skin right now so before I went in with the Garnier face mist but this isn't a setting spray this is just to add back due to my skin and I feel like this really really helped and the setting spray that I used is the Colourpop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist this is a really nice hydrating setting spray but it's not going to add too much due to your skin it's not going to make you extra greasy so I really really love this setting spray it is a really really nice hydrating drugstore setting spray so I used this instead of going in with my Charlotte silvery spray and i feel like that really really helped with the overall look of the foundation if you go back into the video when i applied my powders you can see that around my mouth looked extremely weird and that is because it was clinging to the patches so i feel like using both hydrating sprays really really helped so be mindful of that if you have extremely dry skin or if you have dry patches on your face like i do it is going to cling to that so this is what the face is looking like as i said i am going to do a wear test i'm going to keep this on for a couple of hours and then come back and give you guys my final thoughts but so far i do like the foundation but as i said be mindful if you have extremely dry skin or if you have dry patches for the foundation to cling onto because it's going to grip that gripping property in the foundation is going to grip to whatever is on your skin so if you have baby smooth skin you don't have to worry so with that being said i'll be back in a couple of hours to give you guys my final final thoughts all right you guys i'm back and this is what the face is looking like i went to ahead and I reapplied my lips but it is now 6 43 and this is what my face is looking like so my final thoughts on the new house labs foundation I personally like it I feel like the foundation held up really really nicely I think this foundation is going to be good for all skin types depending on what products you pair it with so if you go in with say a more mattifying primer or a mattifying setting spray it is going to give you a different finish as you guys saw I went in with more hydrating products and it gave my skin a really nice glow but the foundation still held up really really nicely and I personally really like that it didn't crease up as much around my mouth and I did eat it looks beautiful on the skin the only downside with this foundation is that if you have dry patches it's going to cling to those patches there's just something in it that is just going to make it cling to those patches so be mindful of that you just have to keep your skin hydrated or just use hydrating products with this foundation if you have dry patches so that's the only thing for me I think the shade range is really good if we are shade twins you can use the shade for 70 which is the shade that i used today or you can go a shade down and use the shade for 60 and both shades should look really really good on your skin do i recommend this foundation yes i do if you are looking for a new foundation to try out yes you 
you can definitely pick this up i feel like the finish of the foundation the performance of the foundation is really really good and i do like it but for me personally right now it's not a need because i have a ton of foundations that i want to work through and the fact that it's clinging to my dry patches i know i'm not going to reach for it as much so i'll probably revisit this one around the sephora sale but for right now it's not a need but if you were looking for a really good foundation to try out go ahead and pick it up let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below by the way huge shout out to my subscriber that reached out to me to review this foundation if you have something that you you want me to review it leave it in the comment section down below or just slide in my dms on instagram and i'll definitely check them out but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really hope you found it helpful once again don't forget to like share comment subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye